the Excel window can seem a little bit daunting to new Excel users. So I wanted to take a few minutes and explain to you the different parts of the Excel window. When you first open up a worksheet, this is what you're going to see. Now up here, you have the Office button. And if you click on this Office button, you're going to see that you can open a new button, a new worksheet, you can open, you can save. Those are your basic um, instructions to the worksheet is underneath your office button. You have the quick access toolbar right here which you can customize to add different frequently used icons to. You have the menu bar right here and these are tabs. Click on them and it's going to show you a whole bunch of other buttons that you can use within these tabs to carry out your different tasks the things that you need to get done within Microsoft Excel. Now if you hold your mouse over these buttons, it's going to give you a screen tip. It's going to basically tell you what the button does. So if you're not ever sure of what something does, just hover your mouse over it and it will show you um, an explanation. And this is the ribbon. This is called the ribbon where all these tasks are at. You have your minimize buttons, your maximize buttons, and your close buttons for both your worksheet and your work workbook. When you start a new workbook, you're going to have three worksheets. And you can see down below that you have sheet one, sheet two, and sheet three. And you just click on them to display the different worksheets. You can also use these arrow keys to move back and forth of the worksheets. Down at the bottom you have a status bar which you can also customize on what you want to be displayed there. You have a right um, scroll bar and a bottom scroll bar. Okay. Now the majority of what you see is the cells and if you click on a cell and these are these little squares you're going to see that it's highlighted the column and the row. The columns is, are signified by letters, the rows are signified by numbers. When you come to an intersection, that's what's called your cell reference. The, so the cell reference would be C4. It starts with the column and then ends with the row, C4. Click over here, we have E7. Okay, uh, this up here will tell you, the name box will tell you your cell reference as you work in Excel. And this right here is your formula box or your text box. That's where the text, the numbers, the formulas will all show up while you're working within Excel. 